Patriots welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Ronnie O'Sign. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 27, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thanks, Ronnie. Today in history on May 27, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge was opened to the great acclaim. It was a symbol of progress in the Bay Area during a time of economic crisis. At 4,200 feet, the Golden Gate Bridge was the longest bridge in the world until the completion of the New York City's Versano Narrows Bridge in 1964. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. With only two months to go until the Olympics, Team USA and women's soccer already got their first win. The team is looking great as star midfielder Julie Ertz will likely be able to play in July. Ertz, who plays for the Chicago Red Stars, was injured on May 16, which caused everyone to worry as she is crucial to the defense strategy, but she is progressing well. The U.S. women's team is trying to become the first reigning World Cup champion to win Olympic gold this summer. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is hot lunch potluck. Students, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Onalicia. Scholars, we finally made it there. Today is our last day of FSA testing. Let's send our well wishes for the seventh graders as they take the civics exam. Patriots, only a few more days left for the book fair. It will be ending this Sunday, May 30th. Get your parents to help join you in searching for some amazing books online. All books that you buy will help support our school. Link to the book fair would be in the description below. Now to what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. With the intense sun we have had lately, the clouds are definitely welcome. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, D. Here's today's joke of the day. Why do dragons sleep in the daytime? Because they like to hunt nights. Now let's go to Samuel for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was a great joke. Today's birthday boy and girl is Oliver Silverberg and Kayla Lawrence. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patrons, don't forget your past expectations are present. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Santori, Miss Maynard, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Calabrese, Miss Yearwood, Miss Cavalita, and Miss Ian Dankwa. You all have the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what can you put between 7 and 8 to make the result greater than 7 but less than 8? The correct answer to the riddle was a decimal. Now for today's riddle. It has been around for millions of years, but it is never more than a month old. What is it? Again, it has been around for millions of years, but is never more than a month old. What is it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.